here doing a follow up on the cow's tail. Just to be clear, this is not just one big abscess. This is a tumor with multiple abscesses. So I went back and forth a million times on what I wanted to say about this follow up video. But since we didn't have a lot of narration during the actual process, I figured I would just, you know, do a voiceover, talk about it. We have a good friend and she's a vet. She wanted to come out and partake in removing of the tail. So we had her along there with us. We started off by giving her an epidural. Uh, she doesn't really seem like she's in that much of pain or that she really feels a lot back there when we're messing with it. You know, I knew the last video would get a lot of criticism, especially from people who aren't around cattle a lot. But hey, that's what you expect when you put a video on YouTube. After the first video, we kept her there in the lot uh, just to kind of see, you know, how it was going to react. And we pretty much knew the tail was a lost cause. So it wasn't all about saving the tail. And then we put some bands around the tail. We had to cauterize the arteries there. We gave her some antibiotics and she is now back in the pasture where she looks fine. She looks like she's eating normal. Keep you updated, I don't know. I just, I kind of want to just get past this part. Got really good videos coming up next. It's probably the last of the cattle working videos for this fall. And stay tuned for that and we'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.